morning tonight with concerns over declining enrollment in the Monterey Peninsula Unified School District. It could lead to the loss of millions of dollars in state funding over the next five years, which could send the district into a financial tailspin. So looking to head off the crisis, the district is now looking at options to save money. Action News reporter Kyla Linville is live in Monterey tonight with more on exactly what the board is looking to do. Kyla? Right. Right, Aaron, this is definitely a big deal. And right now, the district is looking at all options at creating a long term plan to help deal with this looming crisis. No close island. Please, a safe island, don't close it. A concerned parent speaking out about the potential closure of Highland Elementary School in Seaside. Closing schools is always an emotional issue, but something the district says they have to consider because of declining enrollment and a loss of state funding. It's pretty disheartening um, to see the rich history um, dissolve in the community. It's one of our uh, most historic elementary schools in Seaside. To boost enrollment, the board is also considering moving sixth graders back to the elementary level, an idea being celebrated by parents like Kristen McGuire, who says her son would greatly benefit from staying at Monte Vista Elementary School. With their principal and the educators there and the education that he's received there, he's made um, very good progress. I would like to see that continue. I feel like it would if he stayed. As all options are on the table, the district wants community input. Anytime you're thinking of a change of that nature, uh, it can be really hard on a community. Um, and so we really want to make sure that we're proceeding uh, transparently, that we're engaging the community and getting their voice and their imp input. Now, moving forward, the district plans on doing more research. They also plan to hold community meetings. That way they can get feedback from both students and parents. Erin. Kyla, thank you. So if the board decides to move forward with any of the changes that Kyla talked about, uh, and this is important, they do not plan on laying off any teachers. Instead, teachers would be relocated to other schools.